Hello everyone and welcome to the July 8th edition of Does It Work Wednesday. So my name is Tiffany. I am a Norwex consultant here in the Austin area. Hi Mr. Cash. You want to get in on a video? Um, in the Austin, Texas area and uh, today's edition of Does It Work Wednesday is going to be select a size paper towels versus a counter cloth. So one thing that I did want to um, mention before I get started with this demonstration, okay, cash, is the box set. So this is an awesome, awesome deal. This was out of stock for quite some time and um, it's now back in stock. So it's awesome. You order the box set and you actually get two sets of the counter clock. So it is, this bottom one is my personal one, so um, we won't look at that one. But it does come with the blue, the different blue colors, and then also um, <clears throat> more of the gray and light vanilla colors. So um, I love all of them. I actually have two more counter cloths that are in the wash right now, so those will fit nicely in here. So it can actually hold a set of three really, really well. So anyway, that's awesome. Back to our Does It Work Wednesday. Um, we are going to do a counter cloth versus a select a size paper towel. So as I showed you in the teaser video that I did earlier this week, the counter cloth is a little smaller, just slightly smaller than a napkin or a paper towel, a select a size paper towel. But I am going to show you how you can virtually eliminate paper towels from your everyday use. Um, and replace them with the counter cloths. They may look small or smaller than the select a size paper towels, but they can actually do oh so much more. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I have here, I have a little bit of vanilla pudding. No, 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 banana pudding. Sorry, banana pudding. I have a little bit of, and I have turned the bottle backwards so you don't the brand that we're using but don't ever judge a woman by her figure some syrup because we use syrup practically daily in my house and there is always 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 a sticky residue on my counters after breakfast every morning so annoying and I've got some butter and I have milk so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place on this table two um, piles of each of these products. And then I'm gonna go through um, and do one side first, only with the select a size paper towels. And then I'm going to go through and do them with the counter cloths. So that way you have an idea of how many counter cloths you'll have to use and how many select a size paper towels you'll have to use. So let's go ahead and get started. So our banana pudding. I think right there is gonna be good. I'm gonna put about the same size. So a dollop for my cooking friends. All right, got that there. Oh, syrup, y'all. If y'all know me, Y'all know I hate sticky stuff. Like, hate it to my core. So just seeing this on this little table that I have grosses me out. Ooh, I'm not supposed to turn around that way. You didn't see anything. Um, so yeah. And there's still a little drippage over here next to the pile of syrup. Uh, the butter, if anybody has used butter when they are cooking, I'm going to rub that into the table a little bit. You know that butter, it gets really greasy on a surface. Um, so that's why it looks like that pile's bigger. So I want to be fair here. And then some milk. I'm going to actually hold off on the milk until I start, uh, until I get to that point to pour it so that um, it doesn't like leak off and drip onto my clothes because I don't really know if this table is level. This is this table, by the way, y'all, is from our camper. 
Um, but my countertops, some of these items wouldn't show on the video, so I had to improvise and go get my table for my camper. So I'm gonna hold off and pour the milk only whenever it's time for me to get to that part. So you move some of these things out of the way so that you can see all of my demonstrations really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with one select a size paper towel. I'm gonna just go ahead and fold it just because I want it to fit better in my hand to get some of this stuff up. So the first pile that I have here is, um, is our pudding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that up. As you can see, I got, hope you can see that. I got a little bit up. There's still a pile of it. Um, I'm gonna fold this so I can get the, the rest of, oh shoot, I made a mess. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess all over my, my hand. Okay, so that's one. I still have some residue there. I'm just gonna set this off to the side. I need another, not only to wipe my hands off, but to wipe up the residue from this. Oh, okay. All right. I even got a drip up there. All right, so we're done there. I'm gonna go ahead. That took two already. I'm going to go ahead and take another for the syrup, moving on to the syrup. Once again, I'm folding it to where it's convenient and how I like to have it in my hand. So my, my hand, oh, there's more. I missed some. Okay, honey. All right. So once again, I've got this, I'm doing a demonstration. I'm going to try and get up the syrup. Ooh. Y'all, this syrup is sticky and it's just making a bigger mess. Sorry. <laughs> Braxton just said sorry. <laughs> you didn't make the mess, I made the mess. Right. <laughs> because I'm showing a demonstration that was really cute. Oh, I wish that y'all could see. So this, just folding the paper towel is actually, um, it's not absorbing any of the, I wish you would um, it's not absorbing any of the, the syrup. It's actually just making it spew out onto the table. Um, so there's another one. And this is just a, a little, like, I don't know, circle amount. And that's also sticky. Oh God, that's sticky. My hands are now sticky. Okay, so that, that also took up two, two of the selected size paper towels. Next, we're gonna move on to the butter. Okay, y'all, butter. So butter gets greasy on a surface. That one actually did pick up pretty good on the napkin. It adhered, it heard? Would it be it heard? It be adhered? It stuck to the napkin pretty well. Um, it did leave a residue, so I am just gonna go ahead and, oh, no, it's, it's smooshing out of the, my napkin there too, so. Um, luckily got that one up with just one. Now I'm gonna pour my milk. Hopefully you can see it right here. I'm gonna pour about half of what's in this jar or this little bowl. Oops. My son's friend's uh, phone is ringing, so I'm not sure if you could hear that in the background. All right, so this table is evidently not level. My milk is already starting to kinda just pour on out. I'm gonna leave extra in the bowl so I can show you how much a counter cloth will absorb. Okay. So, okay, got that. Oh boy, y'all. This is not getting up milk very well. This is already soaking, soaking wet, so I definitely need to get another one. And there's still quite a bit of milk. Let me move my syrup over a little bit. Over. All right, and it's all over my hands too. All right, so I got everything off. Um, I wish that you could see this. I really don't wanna mess with my camera settings um, just because this is a brand new phone that I'm using to video this and I just got it set up right. Um, and I don't want it to mess up, but there is still residue from the syrup. I do still see like a grease film um, here from the butter too. The milk and the, um, well, there is still a little bit of pudding on the table. 
So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get a damp uh, countercloth. So, and I'm going to wash my hands. I got sticky on my hands and this grossing me out. So I'm going to step away for a quick minute and get this wet. Okay, my countercloth. You may be able to see a bit of a difference in color now. Um, now let me dry my hands. Kitchen towel. So my counter cloth, once again, it's this size. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it pretty much exactly like I did for the paper towels. And I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up uh, the pudding. So on the pudding, I'm gonna get, okay. That is all up. And since the, the counter cloth was damp, um, it does help to actually clean the surface so it doesn't leave a sticky residue. So I was able to get that. I got it in one swipe, folded that over, picked up the remaining bit. That's it. That's all it was on that second swipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out because um, that's what we do. If we rinse out a paper towel, the paper towel is pretty much gonna disintegrate and you won't be able to use it again really. So I'm gonna rinse this out real quick. I mean, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a little crazy here, y'all. I'm gonna just go ahead and see if I can flip this over to a clean side, wipe my finger off, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the syrup up. Crazy, I know. I live on the wild side like that. So. Here we go. All right, so I am, that is absorbing already down into the cloth quite a bit. In fact, I'm holding it up. You can see it kind of shining on the cloth. Oops. It's not going anywhere, so it's stuck in that cloth. So I'm gonna fold it over again, um, just to go over this spot, because once again, I don't like sticky. So I want that cleaned up. So I did that. So now I clean up two messes with one counter cloth. And I am gonna go ahead and rinse it out now because I do have a lot of gunk in there and I wanna get the gunk out so I can get to the butter. Didn't take long. Let me dry my hands off real quick. Stickiness and water dripping down my arms weird me out. All right, so here's my counter cloth. It's totally clean, everything rinsed right out of it, ready to use again. Once again, I'm gonna fold it and then fold it over so it fits in my hand well. And I'm just gonna come here. I've already gotten almost all the butter up, which I think the napkin or the paper towel did pretty good on the butter too. Right now, it just left a small little streak. Um, so there we go, that one is up too. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the butter out See, there's all the butter just stuck there in the in the cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the butter out because I wanna show you how much a damp Enviro cloth can actually absorb um, with the liquid. And in this area, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of this milk. In fact, these right here, shameless plug, are a Pampered Chef measuring cup bowl thing. So this is a quarter cup of milk. A quarter cup is what's in here. So I probably had about a half a cup of milk whenever I, I started. Actually less than that, because I poured less on the paper towel side. Quarter cup of milk that I'm about to pour out on the table. Easy does it, easy does it. That's a lot of milk, y'all. Pretty much an everyday spill in my house. All right, so for this, it's traveling fast. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, turn this over in a half. I, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do a close up of this video, y'all. You know, like that one paper towel brand that they say something is a quicker picker upper? Ain't no match for this. So, this is already absorbing all of that. I do have a little bit of residue because this is a quarter cup of milk, y'all. A quarter cup. 
So I am gonna go ahead, I probably don't have to, if I just kind of move slowly. Yep, keep. <laughs> there's, there's no more milk residue on this table. None at all. That's up. Now, because it was a quarter cup of milk and this is just a counter cloth that, and look at that, let me show you that. Can you see this? I, I picked up a quarter cup of milk on this counter cloth and it's not dripping, it's not sopping. I can hold it up and there have not been one sing, there's not been one single drip coming off of this cloth. That's how much they absorb. And there's no more milk. I am gonna go ahead and just rinse it out um, and wring it out real good and then come back over just to get that final residue off. But, um, <laughs> I mean, it's still not leaking. No drips, no drips. Now I'm just gonna go over it just one last time. And for good measure, because there is still residue over here on the paper towel side, I'm just gonna wipe down that side because you know me, I don't like sticky. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I have just, oh yeah, hang on. One cloth, right? And I had to wash it out um, twice. I think it was twice. It was, I did, oh no, no, no. I did the pudding and the syrup and then I rinsed it out so I could start clean with the butter. The butter, I did wash it out so I could start clean with um, a fresh new cloth with the milk. So yeah, that, but let's count up how many paper towels I went through. One, two, three. Ooh, and this one's still soaking wet for the milk. Four, five, six, seven. And not only that, let me see, let me try and move this. Can you see all this right here? That is pudding and syrup and butter residue that came off of the napkins as they were just sitting there and left a, a mark on my table. So yeah, all gone. Anyway, seven paper towels for one cloth. One reusable cloth, y'all. No brainer. This is gonna save you money. For sure save you money. Save our environment. How can you do your part? You can do your part by getting some kitchen or counter cloths, excuse me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. I know it's long, but thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, pretty amazing stuff. Hope you all have a great night. And um, that's it. Does it work Wednesday? Heck yes, the counter cloths work on this Wednesday, July 8th. <laughs>